Hello and welcome to this episode of Trains in Vietic. I have got a lot of track running but don't have that much scenery done so I've decided to give myself a little corner to work on. I've already done some houses and bits in that corner. This is a corner in question. You can see I have a house with street lights but then I've got polystyrene. So what do I have to do with this project with? I have this big bag of scenery and this big sheet of card. So between this I should make a nice little uh, hill between the two lines. I showed you this nice big piece of card. What I need to do to get it to fit in there is to cut it into strips then potentially cut some of the strips in half and then plait it between the uh, two different levels of track. This will give me a surface to then put my plaster or parachute sheets on which I can then do for scenery on top. Okay so far I have got this uh, signal box which I got from a previous video. Uh, it's going in that little corner over there but if I was to just put it on the base it would be miles too low. So I've made this box. It just starts off with a sheet of white foam board. It's actually a two piece construction. You have a lid, then you have the walls. I just held it together with a few tacks and now I just need to glue it. Okay, here we have a signal box on its new stand. And the other thing I have done is cut the card down into these long strips. So I'll then just be cutting these as needed and place them along the bankment to give me a nice uh, hill. Okay, you can see the base for the signal box just there. And the idea here is quite simple. I put a piece of card going from there down to there and then just cut it as needed. A few little bits I need to take into account is I need to protect my trap work from the hot glue gun. So if I just put a piece of card like that, this is a hot glue gun which gets very hot. So just make sure to be careful when using it. But you just place a small little dot of glue up at the top like that. Small dot down there. Hold it but make sure not to touch it because it's extremely hot. It normally takes about a few seconds before it's cold enough to let go. And then you just grab the scissors and cut off what isn't needed. I just do this around the corner. I just need to put a bit of brickwork along there and just carry that along around the corner. Okay, as you can see, I've now got some of the downers in place. So what I need to do is start to put some the crossroads pieces in. So just like so. Again just lift the end off. You don't need to glue quite as much. So just get one piece to hold it. Then the next level you'll put out where about you got in and in where about you got out. As you can see it's now all plated. I'll just need to glue these bits in and put an extra couple down there. 
I need to make sure I have enough space for the signal box to sit on. Then that bit will be ready for plastering and I just need to do the same on that area. As you can see, I now have all the cardboard in place, creating a nice rolling hill effect. The next job is to create a hard shell. To do this, I use this plaster bandage. What you need to do is cut your required to shape, dampen it with water, and then just flatten it with a paintbrush. I'll show you how this is done. The first thing that needs to be done is to open the pack. The nice thing about this is it resealable. So just slide it open and then there's a bandage. The advice it gives on the back is to wear rubber gloves when doing it because it can be quite aggressive towards your hands. The first thing we need to do with a plaster bandage is to cut it to size. So just a normal pair of scissors, roughly you can sort it. How it, see how it will fit. I think if I fit it, you so that way round about right, just need to trim that little bit off. And I can see that that's just about right. I need just a tad off work. So the next thing is, catch yourself a dish. Put some water in it. But not too much water. Make sure to wear your plastic gloves. Just dampen it. It will now go quite limp. So just lift it up by its corners. And then place it where you want it. Then you get your brush. And then you just move it out. I can see a few places which need little patches. So for off cuts, just damp them and place them in. Like so. And like so. And then just give them a quick little covering with a brush. And that's ready for the next stage. You can put several layers on, but one layer is just as good in a lot of cases. I hope you enjoyed this video, or at least found it useful. In part two, I'll paint this and put the ground covering in. Make sure to like, subscribe and share my page and hopefully see you next time. Thank you Richard.